This is Anthony Olympia with Six String Country, and these lessons we're working on Life's a Dance, a huge, huge song by John Michael Montgomery. Um, it was written by Alan Shamblin and Steve Seskin. On the rhythm lesson, you're gonna need a capo on the third fret, and we're gonna be we're gonna be working with a lot of chords here. Not too much uh, strumming wise, but it's kind of one of those sneaky, dare I say, complicated songs. Um, Lead lesson wise, we're actually gonna be going in the opposite direction of a capo. We're gonna be tuning the guitar down a half step um, and covering, uh, I transcribed some of the fiddle parts for you. Uh, so that'll be fun. And there's kind of like a an outro, a, a more lengthy part for the outro where the we recover the fiddle part and some of the guitar licks that do happen there. But yeah, it's a really, really great 90s country song to dig into. So let's get started. This is the rhythm lesson for Life's a Dance. First things first, we gotta have a capo on the third fret. Um, and we're gonna be kind of playing, well, there are two keys. There's a key change in, in, later on in the song. Uh, but we're gonna start off with like key of D chords. Um, and then eventually we'll work our way to the key of A. So we got quite a bit of chords to cover. Maybe what we'll do is we'll cover the key of G chords first, get the strumming patterns, and then when the key change happens, we'll cover those chords there. I think that'll be the best use of our time. That way we don't get bogged down into like, hey, here's this chord, and this chord, and this chord, and so on. Um, strumming pattern wise, we have four different ones. Uh, I, wanted to tr I wanted to stay as true to the song as I could, but like a lot of 90s country songs, they're not really, they're not, you can't put them in a box. People are just playing and jamming, especially if you're like on acoustic guitars, there's a lot of room for them just to kind of play and do their thing, which I think is beautiful. It's not copy paste, it's musicians, real human beings in a room playing whatever without being edited to death to be perfect, right? And I love that about the 90s country era. Um, anyways, I'm pretty sure that's as close as I could guess as far as the strum and to tab that. Let's play the intro tab stuff slowly together, okay? Here we go. Three, four. Okay, that's the intro there. Right after that, we get into the strumming. Um, and there is one more little tab piece that we'll, uh, we'll grab for the end of the pre-chorus. Let's save that until we get there, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves too much. So we're switching back to strumming and the chords, right? We're in verse one. We're gonna use strumming pattern two. It sounds like this. Right? Um, and to the, it's also kind of tough, like, when I was listening to this, there were some irregularities, like, the guy, like I said before, the guy's just kind of feeling it, and uh, it's not every measure is exactly the same, but I, was, I wasn't going to, like, um, grab every measure exact, because then you'd have, like, probably 24 different strumming patterns. Right? All right, the intro tabs. One, two, three, four.
right? Let's go ahead and get the last measure of the turn, uh, sorry, last measure of the pre-chorus that's tabbed. One, two, three, four. Right, so we got that down. Now let's back up, we'll do the strumming parts for the intro. One, two, three, four. All right, now let's strum the rest of the song. We'll go to the verse one, which is also the same for verse two. Two, three, four. Uh, we're not really going to play until the pre-chorus, so we're going to rest. I love that the song starts off simple. Um, I love when songs do that and then work their way in rather than, you know, every song always just boom, boom, boom right from the beginning, right? So we come into the pre-chorus, second fret, and that's going to be a whole note that also ties over into the next measure. So then measure three of the pre-chorus, we're going to go open. Let that ring for two measures. Do the second fret of the low E, let that ring for two measures. And then we do one measure of the low E string open. All right, I know it's just like, bah, dah, dah, dah. but uh, here we're gonna do a two four bar, which is just two beats. We're gonna do a half note of the second fret of the low E. And then the next measure, cause that's only two beats there. Um, it's gonna go second fret of the A, and then E, e string two four and then second fret of the, of the A string again. So that again, that's... Okay. Um, let's play through that. I know it's it's a lot of waiting, but let's just play through it to make sure we're on the same page, okay? Here we go. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. We start here on the fifth fret of the G, slide, hit, uh, pick that and slide up to the sixth, and hit the sixth fret of the G. Seventh fret of the B, slide up to the ninth, and hit that. Repeat that measure. Pretty much just like what we were doing in the, uh, if you've looked at the uh, uh, solo earlier in the song when it changes keys. So here, the next measure, we're gonna play this. I'm gonna be the sixth fret of the B, slide up to the seventh. And then six, seven, wait a second. And then we'll go six, seven, six, seven, nine, right? Uh, let's go ahead and play that phrase slowly, um, just so we don't get lost in all the stuff that comes next. Here we go. Three, four, one. Alrighty, moving on. We're gonna, the next two measures will be the same as measure one and two. Let's just call that like the repeated phrase that we'll bring back again and again. All right. The front half up until the where the guitar starts coming in. So here's the front half. One, two, three, four. 